Hello, it's Lee with AppointmentReminder.com. Uh, wanted to go through how to set up a confirmation text and or email to send to your clients uh, when they've booked an appointment with you. This is different than a reminder, although it's kind of set up in the same area. So as of August 2022, the system has been configured where all new users are using message sequences. If you are users or prior to that date, you might just be using a send time days before, hours before. So you will need to set up a new message sequence in order to make this work uh, in, in your system, if that's the case. Sing out to us on the chat line if you need a little help. But this is just kind of covering how to add an additional message confirmation uh, to the appointment using message sequences. So where I am in the system here is under settings, under the message sequence section. And by default, there's a quite a few in here that you can use. And there's even a one that has a 24 hour uh, SMS confirmation. So this is, would be sending right out away immediately when it's found on the calendar system. And then a 24 hour prior to the appointment message. Um, and if we just click and look at this, you can see how it works. So under this page here, when to send the reminder, it's going to be sent out as a text message and it's going to be going out immediately. This is how it's done. Now, one thing to note on this, if you're syncing from Office uh, 365 or Google Calendar, there could be some delay here because the calendars are syncing every you know hour or two. It's not an immediate thing, so don't freak out if, if you have that issue. Uh, but all you need to do is set a SMS message, set it active. You could This could be an email, could be a voice, might be kind of annoying as a voice, but a text and or email here, you're going to set it to send immediately. So as soon as we see that appointment, or if you're using a appointmentreminder.com calendar, send that out immediately. Um, if I would send it only during the, these particular hours, this is kind of a block, you know, if you added an appointment at, you know, midnight or something, you're working late, and you add an appointment, you wouldn't want that reminder to go out at that time. So that's why you set those times around your business hours. And then you have the ability to choose whatever script that you want. So if you wanted a different script than the appointment reminder script, all you would need to do is go up into settings, edit reminder scripts, add a new script, you know, a message confirmation or something to that effect, appointment confirmation, and then change it here in the script section. Um, and then you can go down this page and see the additional SMS reminder sending it one day. If I wanted to add additional steps, or maybe I wanted to do a text confirmation in an email, simply hit add new step. I'm going to do an email reminder here and same thing. I'm going to change this to immediately. And then I'm going to make sure I choose either the appointment reminder script and, or if I make a particular script, add that here. So pretty simple uh, to do but it's not always the most intuitive. There is no option, no other, other section to do this. It's all done here. So once you add it in message sequences, what you need to do then is go to the default reminder settings section and make sure you choose the SMS confirmation in 24 hour uh, SMS or whatever one you created with the confirmation on it to send immediately here as the default sequence. Um, a couple things to note, if you already have reminders on the calendar um, that have not started the sequence, uh, they're going to be switched over to the new sequence as soon as this goes. So uh, someone is going to get their confirmation as soon as that resyncs in two hours. So just be aware that that's going to be going out um, if the sequence has already started. So if you're already running a sequence and the, the, the customer's already received their messaging, the system will not change it. Uh, so any new appointments would receive that confirmation, but any bookings that are on the page and have already started the message sequence would not receive that. So um, sing out to us if you have any other questions. There's a little chat down here on the bottom right hand corner. Always the easiest way to get a hold of us. Um, and or if we need to get on a Zoom call and work through it together, happy to do that. 